very good morning to all of you again and here we are with lesson 2 of Nouvelle Apprenant le Français 1. This is the new book that is out and facilitated by Ancienne Linguistics Academy. Here is the book cover and we are doing lesson 2, second part today which is exercises. So, rappelons, let us recall what we have learned in the first video. We start with pratique grammatical. We learned the numbers. So, now we have to match the numbers to the letters. So, what is the first one? 18. Second one. 15. Third one. C. Fourth one, zero. Fifth one, douze. Sixth one, neuf. Seventh one, seize. Eighth one, dix-sept. Ninth one, vingt. And final one, deux. Hope you got, got all of it right. Écrivez les lettres qui manquent. Trouvez le nombre. So write the missing letters and find the numbers. So what is the first one? Douze. Quinze. Neuf. So if you want to pause the video, guess the next number, please do it. Or you can pause the video before the we started this exercise and try it filling. And then uh, we can always check. 14. 20. 11. 5. 13. The final one is this nerve. You got it right. So this is missing letters and finding the numbers. Hope you got all of it right. Otherwise, you can always go back and pause it, try it, and then check the answers. Now we are going to revise accents, putting the French accents. Here are some words, 10 words. Put the accents, pause the video here and then check the next slide. I have put all the accents. So putting the French accents, here are the answers. Sorcier with an E accent grave and boîte with an I circumflex. Garçon with a CC deal, Francais with a CC deal, Tet with an E circumflex. Then we have the sixth one, Noyel, E with a tréma, Fe, E with a acute accent, accent aigu, and Mer with accent grave, Bébé with deux accents aigu on both the E's. And finally, heroin. Heroin should also have another accent. Okay, I'm going to leave it for you to guess. So it's a accent aigu. Yes, you got it right. I should have trema. Then we have uh, the revision of subject pronouns. You remember, we did je te, uh, uh, je tu, il, elle, nous, vous, ils, elles. And here you have to tell me which is the correct subject pronouns. Post the video here, guess it, and then check it. Yes, now for the answers. My sister and my mother will be L, feminine. I will be je, you will be tu. My father and mother is masculine, plural, or mixed plural. Il with an S. 
and my friend is ill and my sister is ill i hope you got it all right now we have comprehension oral and we have to write the names of the french cities so let's see what are the french cities okay now get ready i'm going to dictate now don't look at the slide and try it and then check the answers so the first one is lyon lyon second one is dijon dijon third one is toulouse toulouse fourth one is orléans orléans fifth one is cognac Cognac. Sixth one is Nice. Nice. Seventh one is Marseille. Marseille. And eighth one is Versailles. So if you feel that I am very fast, you can always play it back and then you can finish checking now. Let's finish checking. These are the cities I told you. So the numbering is wrong, be careful, it's Lyon, Dijon, Toulouse, Orléans, Cognac, Nice, Marseille, Versailles. Okay, hope you got all, it, all of it right. If you have not got all of it right, you can always practice and play the video once again. Now you are going to listen to some numbers with things, okay. So it's something like D livre. You have to write D. That's all you have to write. You need not write livre. Okay. So when I dictate, I will dictate with uh, the nouns also. Just take the number in digits and number in letters. Okay. So try it. The first one is trois ballons. Trois ballons. The next one is douze fleurs. Douze fleurs. <coughs> Sorry. The next one is un disque. Un disque. Cinq stylo. Cinq stilo. Then we have set tas. Set tas. Quatre chapeau. Quatre chapeau. Quatorze tomates. Quatorze tomates. These neuf étudiants, these neuf étudiants, quinze paniers, quinze paniers, vingt filles, that is the final one, vingt filles. If you have not listened to it properly, always rewind and come back. Now let's see the answers. Trois ballons, douze fleurs, un disque, cinq stylos, sept tasses, quatre chapeaux, quatorze tomates, dix neuf étudiants, quinze paniers, vingt filles. Hope you got it right. Okay. A big got it right. Now let's listen to numbers. You got to repeat it with me. I will give you a pause after each number. So let's start. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, Huit, 
9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 is 20 thank you for repeating let's go to the next exercise the next exercise is produce your accrete here you have to learn mathematical symbols plus is plus in French and egal means equal to so these are the two words you have to learn new so just write the numbers in letters and calculate in max if you're good at max these are very very simple numbers try them pause the video here and then we can discuss the answers so the answers for the exercise are uh, plus 5 égale C, 2 plus 7 égale 9, 4 plus C égale D, 5 plus 7 égale 12. Hope you got it right. You can also fill in the digits in the blanks. go to the next exercise the next exercise is writing the numbers in series again this is a good way to remember the numbers the first question is all the even numbers till 20 and the second question is I think all the odd numbers till 20 so post the video here try the exercise and then you can always watch the answers Okay, now I'm going to tell you the answers. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. These are the even numbers in French till 20. Now let's go to the odd numbers. 1, 2, 3, 5, sorry, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17. There is no space for this nerf, so I have not written it. If you have written it, it's great. So here are some extra information. Always food is interesting, isn't it? So here are some French pastries for you. The pâtisserie française. The first one is éclair. Eclair is an oblong shaped uh, dough filled with cream and topped with chocolate icing. Yummy, isn't it? It looks like your donut, but it's straight. Okay. Macaron. Macaron is cookies that resemble a mousse. It's baked with almond flour. <clears throat> and then we have Madeleine. Madeleine uh, look like shells. And they are shell-shaped sponge cakes. So, madeleines are very uh, popular. We say madeleine. Then we have another slide of pastries. Tarte au citron, lemon tarts. It has a pastry shell with lemon filling. Okay. And millefeuille. Millefeuille is uh, three layers of puff pastry. And two layers of cream and sugar. So it is again a pastry. Pano chocola. Pano chocola is nothing but it's a brioche made with chocolate filling. So that brings us to the end of the lesson. This is Rajiv signing off. Au revoir.